terms and conditions that we currently have impose a new pension scheme and unfortunately we are not going to accept it. Um, we'll use any means necessary to make sure that our members keep their terms and conditions that they've currently got. Sure. And if that may take an industrial action at the end of the day, that's the way we'll go. We've got the support of the membership. 90% of those who voted voted in favour of industrial action and that's what we're going to have to do if the business won't come to an agreement with our negotiators. The Royal Mail right from the start have gone out of the way to make life extremely difficult for us to hold gate meetings, telling people that they can't come out, uh, only allowing them out in the meal breaks and we'll get a message to Royal Mail we will be ho holding further gate meetings to make sure that our members are still on board with us and they've got a fight on their hands. Well, union members are rightly angry that Royal Mail has taken away their democratic right to withdraw their labour under an official dispute, but ultimately the High Court judges have decided to sign up with big business and deliver that blow but it's only a setback it's not a defeat well, the union's plan now will be to keep campaigning ensure that our members know that this fight hasn't gone away make sure that the public understands how important it is for us to win this particular dispute and that ultimately we're fighting for our pensions and we're fighting for everybody else's pensions Tories and this government, and including, by the way, Royal Mail, know exactly what the laws entail. We have to put up with them, unfortunately. But I'll tell you what, they will not beat us. It's a setback, yes it is, but all it's done is postpone this dispute. This dispute will be very much on until, we, unless we get an agreement. It's still there, hasn't changed, hasn't changed one iota. If they make a significant shift in that mediation, which they've called on by the way, so the onus is on them to make a shift, they believe the next eight weeks could make a difference to uh, this dispute and we could get an agreement. But if they believe that, then they need to put that stuff on the table. I mean, it does beg the question why they haven't put it on the table in the last 18 months, but maybe that's because they wasn't they underestimated this union, they underestimated our members. You know, let's, let's not forget the will of the people here. This was uh, our biggest ever return in a ballot and our biggest ever yes vote. You know, like 74 percent return and some papers came back after the date so who knows what it could have been but it was like a 90 percent yes vote supporting this union for industrial action people don't do that and you see, unless there's serious problems in the industry and in the workplace we will fight as long as you back us we'll fight all the way for a right deal for our people this leadership's not backing off i know you're not backing off i know our members won't back off they better listen because if they don't make significant moves, then this will be a fight to the end. Because I've said it before, this is being wrecked, this industry, over a long period. A thousand cuts, slow death to our members and this public industry. Well, we're not going to put up with that. You bring it on. Because if that's what they're determined to do, then I'll tell you what, we'd rather smash it to bits than hand it over to them and make all their money with it. We're standing up for ourselves and we're standing up for the public service. Believe me, we will be successful and we will make history. We will make a difference. Thanks to your support. Thanks very much.